What's up, Star Wars fans? This is Darth Watts, and in this video, we'll be going over Mark Hamill's comments on recasting Luke Skywalker. Now, this is coming from the direct.com, by the way. So, let's read what it says here. So, it says here that Star Wars fan speculation about Luke Skywalker's Mandoverse prospects. Mark Hamill shared his thoughts as well as his own opinion on being recast. Uh, Mark Hamill talks about Luke Skywalker's on um, Luke Skywalker on futures on screen future. So, uh, according to Hamill, it says it is unusual to see himself as a younger. It is unusual to see a younger version of himself within, you know, the book of Boba Fett and the Mandalorian. But if they were to recast Luke, if they were to have more like Luke Skywalker in. If they were to have, like, more Luke Skywalker in in the Mandoverse projects, they would have to, like, not, like, they would have to find a younger actor that looks like Mark Hamill that can portray a younger version of Luke Skywalker if it will save them on money because it is really expensive to de-age Mark Hamill and recast him into the Mandoverse stuff, especially because it takes place five years after the events of Return of the Jedi, and they need to make him look that, they need to make Luke Skywalker look that young. It'd be easier if they just found a younger actor to portray a younger version of Luke Skywalker, like a younger, like someone, so, someone younger that looks like Mark Hamill that can portray a younger version of Luke Skywalker. That's what I think should happen. But, um, do I want to see more Mark Hamill and do I want to see more Luke Skywalker in, like, in, in the Mandoverse projects? Maybe somewhat, like, if Dave Filoni's Star Wars film is called Heir to the Empire, I think it will likely turn into a new version of the Thrawn trilogy, and not only a new version of the Thrawn trilogy, but it will have, it will feature Luke Skywalker, Han, and Leia in there. Now, they would have to find younger actors to portray all three of them, especially because Carrie Fisher's dead. I mean, they could, they could, like, maybe instead of, uh, maybe instead of not, like, recasting, like, because that would be replacing Carrie Fisher and a slap on the face to Carrie Fisher's legacy, but they could recast, like, Carrie Fisher throughout green screen formatting and, and, like, de-aging her with the CGI, CG effects, like, they could use the footage from the original trilogy, age her a little bit with CG effects, and use her as green screen formatting throughout the entire Thrawn trilogy that Dave Filoni might have planned. I mean, if they were to have Leia, Luke, and Han all in it, they would have to find a younger actor to portray Han Solo because Harrison Ford, because if they were to cast Harrison Ford in there, de-age him with CG effects and deep fake stuff, then that would be really expensive and it would cost the company a lot of money, especially with Lucasfilm and Disney. And they don't want to, and, and I'm sure they don't want to be spending that kind of money on these characters. So, um, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I mean, I would love to see Luke Skywalker in some way, shape, or form throughout the Mandoverse. Probably, probably most likely if Dave Filoni's Star Wars film is going to be called Heir to the Empire. We're probably going to see a lot more Luke Skywalker in that film, as well as it possibly turning into a new version of the Thrawn trilogy, a canon version of, of the Thrawn trilogy. But anyways, um, let me know your thoughts down below on all this, and I will catch you all later in another video.